Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Aziza. I'm reading today for the sign of cancer for love and relationship for the month of February You still want to be married like not to the person that you love really the most. And I guess here there is no marriage that happened for some of you. And you feel like you know, this isn't really working. And I'm getting here that you feel like you know, that you have been really deceived or lied to and you have been really hurt. And you don't like that. Your person have like you no know, really fear from the family. <laughs> they are afraid that you are having someone else or you have been really neglecting your relationship also because there is someone else in the picture and I'm getting here that picking on two people here okay two people betrayed unhappy in a relationship it seems to be like no marriage or something like no marriage did not happen, did not work. Like for some of you, the marriage did not work. For some of you, like, you know, that um, you wanted like no marriage from someone, but that marriage is not happening. Something about it here. And, um, and I get here, you feel like, you know, really played games on. You have been really hurt. You have been really upset. But I get here, there is another person in the picture. I'm picking on a Pisces. I am going, I'm picking on a Gemini. And I am getting here that there is an air sign person also. It's kind of like you have two families. Or you can be really family with two people. You could be like in a relationship and you have someone else on the side. Anyway, because it's not really telling me that there is a specific person what they think. It seems to be that, you know, it's really all of it about you. It says here you are mad, you are afraid, you are we like no feeling like no... Uh, bad experience you feel like you know, that you have been really like you know just fooled lied to or deceived somebody betray you really badly and you are not feeling the same anymore but I get here yet there is a different relationship that you are with mm. okay You keep being confused. You keep being confused. You have a new beginning at this time and you need to be strong. You don't have to be really like, you know, just blocking yourself like, you know, in a relationship that it doesn't belong anymore. Yes, this person really betray you. Like, you know, someone in relation that you split from or it could be you are married and you are divorcing. Or it could be you are in a relationship for a long time and it didn't work the way you expected it. Okay, but I get here that uh, right now you are confusing yourself and you are blocking yourself with that person or being like you know, really mad, angry about that person. Someone from your past or someone who you thought that is a soulmate. That person, I get here, did not go through of what you wanted. 
And I guess here you keep really blocking yourself with that person. You don't want to really like to leave that corner or what make you mad and upset. You are upsetting yourself more and more. Getting busy, like, you know, under pressure with that person. You are not really getting out of it. Um, it says here that you are confused. You are confused. You have a new beginning coming your way. You have a very beautiful new beginning. You need to be strong and push that other person who hurts you the most, have other lovers in their life to push them away. You have to push this person away. And I get here you are afraid that if you leave your person and you know what they did to you, you know, the other person is going to have marriage with them or they're going to really be with them forever. It's kind of like you have, you don't want to lose your position with the other person. It's kind of like you feel different. Not everybody, because I get here some, some of you, like, you know, thinking about someone from uh, the past that did you wrong when you were married to them and betrayed you, cheated on you, fooled you, all of that. Like, you know, there are that emotions, that turmoil you are going through, because there are different stories than different stories here. Um, it sounds like, you know, that, okay, let me explain this. You have a relationship that didn't work out, and you want it to work out so much, but it didn't work. You could be really divorcing someone who cheated on you and betrayed you and played games. And you are keeping yourself occupied with that person. Or it could be someone for some of you because there are different like you know, things happening. Some of you like you know, had a relationship long time ago and you still remember like you know, what they did to you and you are not really getting out of it. You're blocking yourself with that corner. You need to open up and let go all of really bad, these bad emotions from the past. Because you have really like, you know, something very good coming in your life. You have an, another person who is interested in you at this time. And that person is really very good. And they are like, you know, just seeking your help, uh, your love, the, the, your attention to them. But you haven't been really getting that attention. It says here you keep confusing yourself and reading between lines. Um, kind of like, okay, that person told me they love me. Okay. How come they are with someone else and they don't want me and they don't want to marry me? Or we were married and they betrayed me and played games on me. That doesn't mean they did not love you. Like, you know, there are too many circumstances why people cheat. Either weakness, insecurities. They could be really that this is like, you know, the way they are. They cannot really like, you know, just keep up with the one person. Um, they can, you can be really like, you know, just having really too many anger issues between you two and they want really like, you know, their freedom at other, uh, other places. There are too many reasons, not only one. Things happen. Um, but if you want to keep up like, you know, with that person and keep torturing yourself and your mind and your brain and not really to leave that relationship, keep thinking about it. Enough confusion. You love that person, they love you too. That doesn't mean that you did not like someone else yourself. And they did not like someone else. It happens. God help everybody because this is not really an easy thing. But to keep really being angry and upset and keep talking about it, thinking about it. And you don't want to leave that situation. To questioning more questions because a lot of you, something happened about 15 years ago and you still think about it. And you are already in another relationship, not progressing with love because you are still stuck in the past. And some of you, something recent just happened. Some of you, like, you know, a few months ago. Some of you, like, you know, two years ago. Some of you, like, you know, two weeks ago. I don't blame anybody being upset. We are all human. We have emotions and feelings. But do not get stuck in the past so much and try to read between lines and really, like, you know, really go with all of these really bad emotions. Kind of like... When you read between lines and trying to put this together and this together, you confuse yourself more. Like, you, know, you don't need that. Someone who's really like, you know, wish, like, you know, want to help you at this time, and I get here that person on your side. And they are trying to really get you out of your misery and your really bad relationship. I see a Capricorn person here. Yeah. Someone hurt you, Capricorn. Or it could be Taurus, it could be like, you no know, Virgo. It doesn't... Like someone who's an earth sign. Hmm. Not necessary. Sometimes you love another Capricorn. Never a uh, Virgo or an earth sign. Okay, it is a Capricorn. All righty. Hmm. Hmm.
Yeah, that person was selfish. They did what they did because they were selfish. They were lazy, like you know, to do their duty, like you know, towards you. Anyway, another person like you know, who really love you the most, and I get here, they are trying to help you, they are trying to be there, you are building like you know, this new beginning with you, and coming forward towards you, but you are the one who is really refusing and rejecting. That person like you know, that, they don't want you to sink in problems, and they want to cheer you up. This person is really someone on your side. That's it. it could be like you know, an air sign person. Or it could be like, you know, really someone who is intellectual also, Mercury, it could be Virgo also. So like I said, it's not necessary like you know, which sign upset you and which sign you love, because it can be really any sign, you know your person. It's just like, you know, really struggling, like you, know, you are struggling, this person is struggling with their emotions and it feels to me that they have someone else, the one upset you. They have someone else. You find out, you did find out, you know about it. Yeah. Even if it didn't happen now, it happened like you know, a long time ago. It feels like, you know, the same thing that you are not getting out of it and throw like, you know, the past behind your back. If it happens recently, I understand, but some people like, you know, it happened even 20 years ago, you still think about it, don't do that. Try to make you happy, get out of really this, like, you know, do not sabotage your, your forthcoming life is really better, much better, it's lighter, it's going to be really like, you know, more, more love and joy, you need to enjoy it and open your eyes. Yes, I get here another person wants you to vent, open your heart. They love you so much. They care for you a lot. And they could be involved with someone else also. And someone else is working for your benefit also. Like, you know, both of them on the, your side. Hmm. Hmm. See, this person and that person working together to, uh, to make you like an event and open up and be happy. This person loves you very much. They want you to have a new beginning with him or her. And I get here holding on you and love you so much. This person is really holding on you. I'm not talking about the past person that upset you really very much. I'm talking about the new person. The new person it seems to be that you know this person for a while also. It's not like you, know, you met yesterday. You could be met like you know, really a few years ago also. But it's not really the one that you wanted to be before, like, you know, married to before, or been in a relationship with before. You could be also in a new relationship that is not really like, you know, a very years long time ago. And that person says here on your side, trying to help you. Uh, trying to help you to open your mind, to open your heart, to, to let go, like, no really bad emotions. If you are under, like, no pressure, uh, unhappy, you want to talk, you want to do something that they are, like, you know, willing to help you. That's what I mean. Beautiful life is coming to you. You will find the balance. It's really coming up for you. You're going to be really confident in yourself. I guess here life is really smiling at you. You will have a lot of really beautiful moments coming to you. You're going to be really like so excited about life in general. So it seems to be here that you need to let go what doesn't belong anymore in your life. Because you don't want to be in this really bad energy here. It's not good, it's not healthy. There is a lot of good things happening to you. And I get here, money situation is gonna be very good and if you have a career on you, you're gonna get a promotion. And I see also if you have a business that you are going to be really making very good money. Money is coming really very good, it's not even little. Dear Cancer, I hope you enjoy the reading. And if you need a private reading, please contact me and the link for my website is below this video, mysticalaziza.com. 
after you purchase your reading, please give me a call and the phone number is listed on my website. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.